Right guys, I've been sent this video by Matthew Okohara from Samurai Gun or Gun Samurai, I never remember which way around, and we're going to talk about Japanese music. Now, what is, for me, what I find really interesting is the fact that when we do our ninja and samurai research and we do everything and we're thinking about it, we sort of miss these cultural aspects. Do you remember in the last samurai where the lord was in the village and he's like the lord of the village and he goes to like the local theatre and everything and the local village are doing it? You've got to remember that there is still a theatre tradition. Now, um, have you ever seen the film The Seventh Seal, which is hailed one of the greatest films of all time? And it's about a Norwegian knight who comes back from the Crusades and he has to save people from death. And it's heavily, um, heavily sort of satirised within Bill and Ted's uh, journeys, bogus journey and everything. Now, inside of that film, The Seventh Seal, it shows the travelling musicians going to the castle of the Lord or the, going to the knight's castle. And the same thing is in Japan. You get these actors and these theatre players going round doing the circuit at the same time that all the warriors are you know fighting it's even in the Sengoku period they're out there we have even from the land of the ninja the ego we have one of the oldest manuals is actually an acting manual because they used to go around doing their theater so what I'd like to say to you guys is remember that um, inside of Japanese culture, even inside of the wars, it's not total war. It's not like nobody's growing crops or it's not like nobody's doing any pottery or nothing is happening but war. It's localised war throughout a few centuries that obviously climaxes in the country at war. But it doesn't mean that people are not still making things. There's not still industry. There's not still art. So whenever we're doing anything to do with samurai, have a look at this type of thing. Of course, the one he's showing here is very high level, court dancing, and it, probably alongside no theatre, and it does go back a very long way. Um, but of course there would also be field music, you see the flags, the curtains in the background which basically they would have put up, there would be painted curtains, there would be all sorts going on so that um, the people could enjoy different types of arts, be it high level or low level. So it's just something, when I saw uh, Matthew's video, I really wanted to put this video up because nobody really bothers anymore thinking about the aspects behind. Now I know Scott from Zengoku Studies does, he says let's look at more than just the war and he's right. So what can we look at that's more than just war? Of course art, theatre, literature, this is all part of the samurai way of life. So if you can help me out guys get yourself a copy of the book of Bushido.